Hello everybody, it's Brad and Robert again with our Clarity Clip, and I want to start off first by just asking Robert, what's your least favorite dessert? Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin Hate pie. It. I don't like it either, but probably a lot of you out there do. So the point about the pumpkin pie is that you don't necessarily like it no matter how it's presented. Yeah, I know what, whipped cream, dress it up, I still don't like it. So we can put it on a fine piece of china at a beautiful dinner. You could dress it up, make it look pretty. They always say food's in the presentation as much as it is in the taste, but it's not. And the whole point is your audience has many tastes and you have to be sure you're looking at each one of those tastes to be sure that you're you know, targeting and pulling on those heartstrings of your particular audience and driving that passion in social media. And we hear from clients all the time and for prospects we're talking to and everything and industry people is like, well, my social doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I don't see any business off of social. How do I get business off of social? And you know, we're doing a lot of posts. We're putting up this, we're putting up that. You know, in fact, one body, one, one person we even said, we said, what's your objective in social media? And they said, to get the word out. And I said, about what? Exactly. So, you know, they've got one recipe and one flavor. And that's it. And if you don't like it, then you just go on down the road. And we hear, we hear again and again and again, well, we're posting up a lot of stuff. We're putting up information. We got events and we do really good stuff around events and we're doing this. We're just not seeing anything coming about it. And we're back to the plate of pumpkin pie. It doesn't matter how great you present the pumpkin pie if no one in your audience likes pumpkin pie. Right. They're still not going to walk over to the table and eat the pumpkin pie. And so you have to think about that when you're doing social media. You've got to understand your audience. We practice something called audience speak. Are you speaking their language? Or are you giving them a recipe that they enjoy the taste of? And there are a lot of different tastes. And then you've got to be see, seeing what what's working off this menu, just like a restaurant. What sells in here and what doesn't? Yeah, I mean, you've got to look at the analytics behind it and say, hey, when we did this, it worked. Let's try some more of that. Yes. <laughs> when we put this on the menu, we sold a lot or we got high engagements or there was a lot of likes or a lot of shares or people really you know, bought into that, if you will. You have to do the same thing in social. And one of the things that you have to remember is we're close to Valentine's Day. So one thing you have to remember is don't forget to pull the heartstrings of your audience and be sure that you're driving that heartbeat. Mm. I'll eat that one on any kind of plate. You guys enjoy the Clarity Clip. That's Brad. And I'm Robert. And I don't like pumpkin pie. <laughs> Thanks.